And Andrew was a very handsome child and grew up to be a handsome young man. Responsible. Very responsible. Tammy was so beautiful, now this is a daddy talking of course, that she had boyfriends <laughs> in primary school and high school and seemed like all of her life she was she had boys chasing her but of course they had to get through the the mama to, to uh that's right to get anything serious so uh she married and our son uh who had as many girlfriends as he wanted but he didn't really uh have a i mean he didn't want a lot of girlfriends i don't think yep but he was kind of like me. I never had any girlfriends till I met uh, the one sitting next to me and then fell in love and that was that. But uh, today they're living their life uh, in California where I'm, we're from. Uh, the, my son works for a company and I don't think I want to say the name of it unless he gives me permission. But uh, he he pursued his uh, education and has a master's degree in, in business administration, MBA, and he's working in the hierarchy of this company. And our daughter, uh, well, and our daughter and our son both joined the Navy like uh, their dad. And my son, like his dad, uh, me, became an interpreter in a language and then I'll, that's another story in itself and our daughter became a corpsman which is like a medic like a nurse uh, and she uh, stayed in and is still serving in the military to this day she's a corpsman and she I think she has in about 17 or 18 years so she's gonna go until she retires in the, in the Navy and uh, she has two children, our granddaughter, Neela, and our grandson, Kaya. And Kaya just joined the army. And so, although we, we had expected him to join the Navy, whatever he wanted to do, and that's up to him, that's fine. So, uh, that's our children, and our son, you may know, uh, we were so surprised when he came over here to the Philippines to visit us, he couldn't get away very long, uh, only, I think, a week or 10 days. And uh, some people want to know why we didn't go to different tourist spots. But he told us he just wanted to be with his mom and dad in our daily life. So we did go to Forest Camp, which was not too far from him here. But mostly he uh, went to coffee with me in the morning. And uh, we three walked around and did things here in Dumaguete City. And be careful. And because this is our life, and he wanted to know what's our daily life, what do we do? So uh, one thing I'll say that Andrew, um, I don't know if he realized it or not, but a lot of the movie stars are what they call mestizo. That means half European, half West, half Western, like American or, or British, Australian, whatever, and half Filipino. And so uh, I had a feeling that he would get a lot of girls looking at him. And sure enough, when we were at Gabby's uh, Bistro, did you hear about this? No. And sitting there having, having uh, coffee, breakfast, one of the waitresses came over and said, uh, can I have my picture taken with your son? You, don't remember, you didn't know that? Yeah, I think I remember that. Yeah. yeah. And Andrew looked at me like, what? And I said, yeah, that's okay. So he stood up with her and uh, had her picture taken. And somewhere, 
on uh, Facebook, I'm sure, there's my son Andrew standing with his young Filipina <laughs> in the Gabby's uh, Bistro restaurant. So if anybody has seen that picture or knows where it is, that would be very curious to see that picture. But anyway, uh, I told him, I said, yeah, you're a good looking young man. I mean, why, why wouldn't uh, the young ladies want to, you know, have their picture taken with you? So, uh, uh, one thing I also will confess is that I was raised as American. Gloria was raised as a Filipino. And uh, two different cultures have uh, different ways, or different cultures have different ways of raising their children. And so we did have some conflicts on how to raise children. And I'm sure this happens in all kinds of marriages. You know, the wife was raised one way, the husband was raised another way. It seemed like uh, either you say, I'm going to raise my children the way I was raised, or you're going to say, Are you Sorry. bored? No. I'm just going to see how we have. <laughs> Hurry up. <laughs> or um, you're going to say, I'm definitely not going to raise my children the way I was raised. So we had a, a, a bit of a difference that way. I was not very strict with the children. Were you strict with the children? Yep. yep. Especially my, my son and my daughter. <laughs> my, my son, I guess. Yeah. So, um, one time, and I know this is getting a little bit long, so we'll wrap it up. Andrew, he might have been 10 or 11 years old, and he was filling his oats, and he knew how to push mama's buttons, and, and his plan that he had a tree house, or a a tree that he climbed up and you know, played up there. And so he said something to, to his mama and uh, she, and as is her custom, I brought you into this world. I think you. I can take you out. <laughs> she comes after him. So he, he runs straight to his tree and he starts climbing up the tree. And he told me this, that he was thinking to my, himself, well, I'm gonna get away from her now. But he looks down, oh my gosh, here comes mama climbing up the tree right after him. <laughs> you remember that? Yep. <laughs> he said, oh no, I'm in trouble now. So she she climbed up right after him and uh, didn't realize that his mama climbs trees too. <laughs> but anyway, we got a lot of good stories and maybe I'll share more stories uh, at another time. But Anyway, uh, thank you so much for coming by and being uh, uh, a subscriber, the long-term subscribers and the new subscribers. Thank you. Yeah, and so we'll talk to you next time. Bye-bye. You can't kick the camera.